All right, today I want to show you guys uh, the forge that I made. I made a propane forge. This is the inside of it. I just, you can see that glowing red hot piece of steel in there. I just heated that up. And um, these are just some clay bricks that I use for fire bricks to keep the heat in there. I made everything from the valve this way. The little venturis, the things going down. This is made out of a, a square piece of pipe with KO wool wrapped around inside of it. Sorry if the camera is shaking around. I just uh, wanted to show you guys. We'll see if it'll still fire up. Guess not. I thought that uh, piece of steel would be hot enough to to get things going, but it's not. So let me fire it up for you. as uh, a coal forge which I also have outside that I made outside the shop right now but this one is pretty economical to run I live in Arizona and there's not a whole lot of coal around here so I gotta pay like 50 bucks for 50 pounds at the blacksmith shop but you can see that little tiny piece of rebar inside your way on the far side that's in there because it'll glow, you know, white hot. And then when I turn the thing off to do some forging and hammering, I don't have to keep relighting the forge. I can actually turn it off. I'll do you a demo here. I can shut it off like that. And as long as things are still glowing and too much time doesn't go by, I can turn it back on. That was a pretty nice start. I probably lost the hair off my finger. But uh, that works pretty good. And, uh, like I said earlier, it's a 10 inch square pipe. You can get the plans for like 10 or 12 bucks on the internet. Um, and you can make, make a forge similar to this with round. I like the square because it actually, you don't have to put legs on it, it won't roll away. And you can still wrap it round with the kale wool as I did inside. Um, you can see what it looks like inside. And then it's got a couple inches of wool and a brick. This design is by a blacksmith here in town named Gordon Williams. And you can buy his plans on the Pay Tool website on the internet. They're a big blacksmith supplier and they happen to be in the same town I live in. I think it's spelled P I E H, like pie with an H on the end, but it's pronounced Pay, owned by Amy Pay. If I had the letters reversed, it might be P-I-P-E-I-H instead of P-I-E-H, but I'm not sure. You could look at Pi or Pay uh, online, and you can purchase these plans. I built this whole thing, including the propane tank, for 30 bucks. All the valves, everything, the steel, the kale wool, the bricks for like $200. And uh, they use these at the, the blacksmith school here in town that Gordon Williams teaches at uh, Pay Tool. Anyway, that's my forge. You can get those plans like I said, build something like this, or you can go spend six, eight hundred or a thousand dollars and go buy a a propane forge if you want. But that's the end of that. Again, this is Russ. Thanks for watching.